हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम मोहन कुमारी वेलकम टू एम के क्लासेस फॉर बायोलॉजी इन टूडेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट एंड द टू इम्पॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ द चैप्टर ह्यूमन रिप्रोडक्शन दैट इज प्रेगनेंसी एंड एम्ब्रियोनिक डेवलपमेंट पार्चुरेशन एंड लैक्टेशन यस वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट दीज टू कॉन्सेप्ट इन टूडेज वीडियो ह्यूर वी बिगिन विद दिस टू कॉन्सेप्ट Before going to start, those who are watching my video, please like, share, and don't forget to subscribe. So let us begin with the pregnancy. So, after implantation, the trophoblast cells of the blastocyst get rooted in the endometrium and give rise finger-like projections to form vessels called chorionic villi. You can see here the finger-like projections. these are called as the chorionic villi surrounded by the uterine tissue and the maternal blood the chorionic villi and uterine tissue forms organic connection between fetus and mother yes chorionic villi and the uterine tissue which forms organic connection between fetus and mother and is now called placenta that can be called as the placenta let us see the functions of placenta is very important can be asked for two marks so placenta plays very important role in the uh, course of developmental stages of the embryo let us see the functions the placenta facilitates the supply of oxygen and nutrients to the embryo and also removal of carbon dioxide and excretory materials produced by the embryo the placenta is connected to the embryo through an umbil umbilical cord which helps in transport of substance to and from the embryo so the placenta also acts as an endocrine gland and produces several hormones like human chorionic gonadotropin that is hcg human placental lactogen hpl estrogen and progestogens in the later stage of pregnancy a hormone called relaxin is also secreted by the ovary during pregnancy the levels of estrogen progestogens cortisol prolactin thyroxin are increased several folds in the maternal blood which is essential for supporting the fetal growth metabolic changes and the maintenance of the pregnancy so these are the important functions of the placenta let us see the embryonic development immediately after implantation the inner cell mass of which is going to develop into embryo that inner cell mass differentiates into an outer layer called ectoderm and inner layer called endoderm in between these two layer mesoderm is present these three layers give rise to all tissues and organs so these layers are called as germ layers certain cells present in the inner mass of cells are called stem cells which have the potency to give rise to all types of tissue tissues and organs the human pregnancy lasts for 9 months after 1 month of pregnancy the embryo heart is going to form the first sign of growing fetus may be noticed by listening to the heart sound by the end of the second month of pregnancy the fetus develops limbs and digits by the end of third month that can be called as first trimester so after completion of 3 months that is 12 weeks most of the major organ systems are formed the first movement of the fetus and the appearance of the hair on the head are usually observed during 5th month of pregnancy 
by the end of 24 weeks that is second trimester the body is covered with fine hair eyelids separate and eyelashes are formed by the end of nine months of pregnancy the fetus is fully developed and it is ready for delivery after the complete development of the fetus now the process parturition takes place that is the average duration of human pregnancy as I told you is about nine months which is called the gestation period so vigorous contraction of the uterus at the end of pregnancy causes expulsion or delivery of the fetus is called parturition Parturition is induced by a complex neuroendocrine mechanism. How it works, we'll see. The signals from parturition originate from the fully developed fetus in the uterus and placenta, which induces mild uterine contraction, contractions called fetal ejection reflex. This is very important for one mark. The signals from parturition originate from the fully developed fetus in the uterus and placenta which induces mild uterine contractions called fetal ejection reflex. This fetal ejection reflex triggers release of oxytocin from the maternal pituitary. So the oxytocin acts on the uterine muscles and causes stronger uterine contractions which in turn stimulates further secretion of oxytocin. This stimulatory reflex continues resulting in stronger and stronger contractions. This leads to expulsion of the baby out of the uterus through the birth canal result in parturition. This is how parturition takes place. Soon after the delivery, the placenta is also expelled out of the uterus. This is about parturition. So after parturition is the lactation period in the mother. Mammary gland of the female which undergo differentiation during pregnancy and starts producing milk towards the end of pregnancy by the process called lactation. This helps the mother in feeding the newborn. The milk produced during initial few days of lactation is called colostrum which contain antibodies and proteins. This is about the lactation. So this is about the today's video. We had studied about pregnancy and embryonic development and also parturition and lactation. To this we had completed the chapter human reproduction. Keep on, my, keep on watching my channel. So in the next video we are going to study another new chapter. Once again, thank you.